friends this is amit and you are watching my channel information and educational video so the ship 2 of fab 26 has been done now so this concludes the j fab attempt of j 2021 exam so i am here with the analysis of the ship 2 that is fab 26 and here i will discuss the expected cutoff and a student reaction that i have got from so many students so i will uh, consider all those reaction and try to uh, give how how is the difficulty level of the paper and what will be the cutoff and uh, from which topic the more question have been asked so you can uh, prepare well for the next attempt also so if you are first to my channel please subscribe it as you will get more videos um, in future also and i will do a uh, analysis of all the six uh, shift cutoff uh, in a separate video so stay tuned for that video and please subscribe this channel you will get uh, this video very soon and you will also get all the nits triple it gfti cutoff uh, and uh, category wise cutoff male female home state other state all type of cutoff you will get here so be there with this channel you will get all the support and guide throughout the counseling so let's start the video so level of the paper and expected cutoff so the paper become tougher day by day as i said this statement in the first shift or shift also uh, so there is a similarity between the second shift of every day and first shift of every day so the first shift of every day um, become day by day tougher so as the case of shift 2 also so uh, as uh, as the case of shift 2 shift 2 is itself tougher than the shift 1 so it becomes more tougher now so you can say that this uh, shift is the toughest among all the all the uh, shift of the je fab attempt so uh, as i am telling here yeah, this because of the student feedback they said that the um, paper was really tough and uh, they uh, got the uh, question from the topic they don't expect from so and and more a question from the class 11 that is rare thing because in the first uh, two three shift there was question more from the class 12th chapter uh, chapters so this is a rare thing that uh, the question from class 11th was more than the 12th so it makes the uh, paper a little tricky and uh, and difficult so chemistry was moderate to tough as this uh, this makes the paper uh, really tough because everyone thinks that chemistry would be the easiest among all but uh, and chemistry is also a scorable subject uh, among all the three subjects so uh, chemistry used to be the easiest subject among all the th three subjects from last uh, two to three years but uh, this in this attempt chemistry was moderate to tough as is the case of shift 2 uh, for all the day that is uh, 24 25th the chemistry was the tricky for the shift 2 uh, uh, but it is not in the case of for shift one because shift one have chemistry the easiest but in the shift two the chemistry was moderate to tough this time and the question we are ncrt based so you don't think the chemistry was tough so it may be come came from any other uh, book the ncrt is the standard book for the je uh, so you should practice more ncrt book for inorganic especially and the last two three chapter that is biomolecule polymer and uh, environmental chemistry or chem chemistry in everyday life so that will give you the uh, easy question uh, and uh, you can also solve the easy question in the in, in, without wasting any time so uh, that will increase your marks in the next attempt so i'm sure you are you are thinking about the next attempt now so uh, it, make these points in your mind so that you prepare well for the next attempt so physics was moderate and it was modern physics which have more number of questions so i in every video i have focused on the modern physics that it is a really easy topic if you study the notes only and get the formulas you can easily solve the question without doing any negative mark so try to uh, learn the modern physics if you haven't covered yet for the next uh, attempt that is march attempt so that will give you the more, uh, more number of questions and you can solve uh, solve more easily about the free, uh, modern physics topic uh, so this is uh, about the physics that is moderate and so as the case of math math was also moderate and question from conic section and calculus was more so this is a rare thing because in the previous shift there was a question from uh, each topic uh, uh, one or two question but this time they, they asked more number of question from conic section and calculus uh, topic so uh, uh, this this these topics are itself uh, higher hard topic so you can expect the label of the question of this shift 
so this makes the overall paper really tough uh, and i think it it is considered to be modern to uh, moderate to tough so you can expect the consequences of this on cutoff also so don't worry if you are scoreless you will get the good percentile also so question we are in uniformly distributed for the two subject but for math it was uh, really depend on conic section and calculus more uh, but overall paper if you see then you can find the question we are asked from almost every topic uh, so the the syllabus was uniformly distributed and every topic have a question as i told earlier so what will be the expected cutoff so i am not telling the detail of expected cutoff because i will make a separate video in which i will talk about each and every shift and i will do the analysis of of each shift cutoff and what we uh, what marks you need to score to clear the cutoff for each shift i will do a separate video so stay tuned with, uh, with this channel you will get all the guide and support and all the video related to your uh, J2021. So uh, for the uh, cutoff, you will get the video soon, uh, in which I will consider all the six shift. Uh, so uh, for now, you can think that uh, the cutoff will go down, as I told in the video, and uh, in which I have talked about the marks versus percentile versus your category rank. You can also watch that video to get your category rank as well. So that video is very accurate about the category rank. So you can find uh, how much category rank will be there for a particular marks or particular percentile so you need to check that video uh, so you will get the marks versus percentile information there also and i will also make another video for marks versus percentile which will be purely based on the fab attempt only so this is all about the label of paper and expected cutoff for the shift 2 of fab 26 uh, exam so this hope you find this video useful and if you have done this shift then don't worry if you score less marks you will get good percentile on less marks also because the paper was really tough and everyone don't have a good preparation particularly this is the first attempt of the year so everyone don't have the good preparation so thanks for watching the video please subscribe it i i request you again because you will get some more uh, useful video very soon on this channel so thanks for watching the video